guys, so now that the exhaust is mocked up and we have our muffler in the uh, permanent location, I can start working on the foot pegs. So this one being that it's not a cafe bike in the sense that it has drop bars or anything like that, we're using an upright bar for a more tracker style riding position. Um, I don't want to push the pegs very far back into what you would consider an actual rear set. So we're going to actually utilize this uh, factory hole and almost put the pegs in a factory location. And to do that, I'll show you what I'm working with here. All right, so to do this, I'm utilizing a couple pieces I had made and then combining that with a set of Dime City Cycles um, indexable rear sets. And I'll show you all the components here that we're gonna make work together. All right, so what you're looking at is the indexable rear set now this has uh, a lot of they're indexable because you can actually the pivot for your uh, actuators like for your master cylinder or for your shift linkage or whatever you can change the position of those based off of the uh, needs of the bike these are a spacer I had made they're real the real basic um, and I'm gonna use these as a locator for the foot peg itself I'll utilize this bolt here and then weld a bracket to tie everything in together and then these just keep everything clocked in the correct position keep everything stable now what I'm using uh, as far as rear master cylinder is a Brembo I think like P32 or, or something like that I'll link what I use in the in the description but I went ahead and picked up a corresponding Brembo master cylinder that's off of the same type of bike or to utilize the same master cylinder for that uh, rear caliper. Now we're going to combine all of these. I went ahead and I just for uh, mock-up I opened up the hole in this, ran a bolt through the locator and have the peg um, just kind of sitting on here. I'll make a bracket to make all of this work. But Okay so the, the peg sitting on here you can see it just slides in, indexes, and then there's going to be a little gap here, so these are going to extend out about a quarter inch. And I'll make a steel plate um, to tie everything in together for strength. Now, if you can do this out of aluminum, cool. Go ahead and do that as well. Just make sure you use a thick enough gauge. But right now, I'm just I'm planning on using steel, even though I know it weighs a little bit more. Now, I went ahead and I indexed the uh, actuator arm or the, the lever here. And if you tie in master it's all going to be positioned about right here and that's that's kind of just the cleanest way I can uh, I can really position it I'm using a heim joint here or a rod end instead of the standard uh, the standard end just so I can actually rotate this as I need it doesn't have to be directly in line now what I'll do is I'll build this bracket up and build it a little higher and build some standoffs to actually bolt this to it. So it's going to be like one bolt and you can take all of this off. And I might tie in a couple other mounts within the frame just to just to make it even more rigid. But I think that's going to be the cleanest way that I can do this. And so right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started uh, making the actual template to cut this piece out and kind of get an idea of where I need to be.
right, so I have the bracket here mocked up and I know where I'm gonna clearance it and I've held the master cylinder up to it and whatnot and I, I have a plan for mounting that. And I know where I wanna trim this thing to, to do the final, the final step on it. But before I go further, I wanna go ahead and I want to get the bushing solid mounted in here. I wanna go ahead and weld it in. And what I want is for it to be sunk in uh, either flush on the outside or just on the inside. I think that would make a, a decent surface to weld to, uh, to add filler without building up material because I don't want it to put pressure on this bushing here on the peg to, to make it stiff. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, run a bolt through this, take this off, run a bolt through it, and then kind of fix it in place, go ahead and tack it up, and then I'll, I'll weld it from the back side as well as the front just to make it extra sturdy. And that should actually add strength on both components here. So it'll be locked in with one bolt and yeah, I think it'll <clears throat> I think it'll work pretty good. All right, so I'm uh, working on the foot pegs here and I'm gonna go ahead and work on the master cylinder mount. So my initial plan is to use some half inch round bar. We're gonna drill and tap into this and this is gonna be what the master cylinder actually bolts to. So once I have those pieces cut, I'm going to cut them at a quarter inch thick and that's going to be our spacer for right here to position the master where we want. Uh, from there, we're just going to go ahead and weld it to this plate. I'll clean up both, I'll get them all uh, looking nice and then, you know, let it sit on there like that. After everything's final welded, then I can go ahead and kind of dress this plate up, make it look good and shape it, give it some curves and, and, and make it look like a professional piece. But, this is, you know, so far it's going to be a pretty, pretty simple setup. We just smooth it and then bolt it to the uh, master, mock it up, weld it. I drilled this hole oversized further than an M6. It's actually just regular quarter inch thread or quarter inch uh, diameter. And then this is going to extend into there and be like a guide pin.
Thank you. Now, again, I'm going to reshape this bracket a little bit whenever it's finally done done. Um, but it's welded. It's ready to just kind of bolt on and use as it is beyond that. So anyway, I'm going to repeat the process for the other side. I'll show you that. It should be pretty easy. This one's going to be a very simple bracket. We'll mimic the dimensions there and then the process for welding it. Yeah, should be simple. Alright, so I've got the uh, peg bracket trimmed out here, I've got my holes drilled, and I'm going to go ahead and try to jig this thing up so I can weld it. So let me flip the mic around here. Alright, so I'm going to end up welding this bushing to this plate. Now to do that, I want to space it out just a bit so I have a, a nice fuse weld area here. So to do that, I'm going to use a thin little washer with a big washer that's larger than the uh, diameter of the hole. Get that packed on there. And then, we're doing this one-handed people, bear with me. Put that on there, that'll make it sit flush. Give me a nice surface to weld to on the front and the back. So I'll go ahead and get it tacked up on the back side. And then from there, I, once that's solid, I can pull this uh, or just push that bolt back out. And then I have a nice surface to weld to on the inside or on the front side, like you see on this one. And it'll be good. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. I'm getting some new poles and stuff here. A YCA will fuck you up quicker than a thousand TC sports All right, so I've got both pegs hung here. So I have the left side, simple bracket on this one, same process as the right, but we don't have an extra attachment point for the master cylinder or anything like that. Um, now I need to actually work on linkage to the shifter. And I've seen a few people do these online and um, I, you know, I, I don't want to, I probably don't need to stray too far from that. I've seen like a tie in point with a linkage system about right here. Um, I'll look at it, figure out what I want to do. I know I could probably actually just use the factory shifter and it's not too far off of the stock location. So, I mean, I could do that, but where's the fun in that? I'd rather just build a cool linkage system. Anyway, I'm going to work on that eventually here. Let's see. Both pegs hung, master cylinder. I went ahead, I did trim this bracket up so it looks a little bit more clean. A little bit more slim line, just that's how, how it should look. Eventually I'll probably powder coat, um, powder coat those parts, just to keep them nice. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Bike feels good. It's looking, looking like it's coming together. Hey guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here and we'll do a separate video on the uh, shift linkage for the left side because I still have to figure out exactly what I want to do there and I don't want to bore you guys with just trying to work through that issue because that could take forever. Anyway, um, if you have any questions on where I, had, where I got anything that I'm using here, go ahead and check the description and if there's nothing there, then go ahead and post a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. So anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks.